Hey guys, APOC here. Welcome back to the channel. Another Watcher of Realms video. We're going to go over some things today on the top 10 biggest tips that would help out newer guys and beginners on their new accounts. Today with me, I have Ivy Lee Gaming. She's an outstanding content creator who's been killing it for a lot longer than me. So I brought her on to possibly help out, give some of those tips and tricks from a little bit more experienced account and then my account. And then hopefully we can put our information together and lend some assistance to you guys out there starting your journey. So if you you would uh tell us a little bit about yourself and we'll go from there yeah i've been playing since the global launch just barely a little bit before checked it out but yeah loving the game it's been a fun journey Quinton has been a great developer to deal with honestly compared to so many others and i really think it's a game that has a very positive community and beginners seem to love it it seems to be one of the best games i've played feedback wise where people just seem happy and excited very early on versus some other games i've played so it's, yeah. it's nice to see <laughs> you know what's funny is um I, I get i get the most comments when i start talking about this game to you know guys and, and girls that haven't really seen it before is, is is they're like what wow what is that raid and then and then they look at it and it was like it's like raid but better it's like yeah actually, actually it is actually it is i agree with that <laughs> We're going to go over the top 10 tips for beginners that can really help out and uh, that we think that were, you know, either overlooked or something that maybe we kind of figured out, uh, you know, way later in the game that now that we look back, hindsight being 2020, thinking, man, that would have really helped me out if I was there. What's the top tip that you have for beginners? Oh, start me off. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so I think one of the biggest questions I get asked by beginners is using diamonds. Diamonds. So for the use of diamonds, I would say use diamonds for summons early on. Don't feel guilty about it. Don't hoard them like a lot of other games where you would not, like in raid you would never use your first diamonds for summons. But in this game, go for it. Don't hold back. You need characters. Later on, once you push some harder content, sure, saving some diamonds for stamina is great. But until you get to the point where it's worthy to spend that stamina on those harder dungeons, you just need to build up your account. And the good thing is you could also sell the bad rares you get for diamonds. So That's this true. game is actually pretty generous in allowing you to get a lot of summons in a little bit less obvious of a way. I, I agree, because if you just play the normal day-to-day -day stuff, you're going to get diamonds after diamonds. Now, there's smaller amounts, you know, but... As long as you're not, you know, using them as soon as you're getting them, you're, you're going to build some up. And I kind of, I guess that kind of goes into to my tip that I was going to bring up. The big beginner tip is only use your resources when there's an event going on that gives you rewards for using your resources. You know, like you were talking about the diamonds. How people build up diamonds is not using them every day, right? You you have to build build them up little by little. Do your events, do your tasks, do your daily activities and, and stuff like your guild your guild boss. And as you build them up and and wait for that 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 uh, uh, ten time summoning event, you know, wait for that special uh, one time only character that just is going on, and then use your diamonds and and, and get a ton of summons get a ton of characters really increase that roster but i think the the key with that is is timing almost like laying laying out your characters you know on the on the field right timing is everything it's all about timing so i think that that's another big tip there is just you know hoard your 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 resources for specific events and then go ham i guess the exception would be the first few days of an account though you just kind of yes. got to pull you got to get something true and then i think you, in the very beginning, the first few weeks, the first month, maybe even, pull every weekend at least. Like, hold for the weekend. Yes. But I wouldn't overly hoard because you just need to get things on your account that are worth investing in in the first place. Right, right. I, I, I would definitely agree. Definitely agree with that. Um, don't. What I was meaning by, by by hoarding is like don't pull them every day. Like as soon as you get you know eighty diamonds or, or whatnot, go go do your summons. Like hold off for for the weekend. You're going to get your biggest chances, and there's an event going. You're going to get rewards for pulling for that event as well, which is going to be drastic for your new account. But yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I, I think you're right. Getting after it as soon as possible. What do you got next, Avi? All right. Well, I guess on the idea of pulling and getting heroes, I want to specify that 
You don't need legendaries to be super successful in this game. Right. Why don't you show some of our favorite epics, right? Yeah. There's, some, there's so many strong epics in this game that can really carry an account, like Vortex the Healer, Medan the Healer, Hollow the Healer, um, Dolores right there, that little grouping. Like There's so yeah. many good people there. Yeah. Just in that little grouping that we could talk about. Um, getting a Maul as your main DPS. Early on through the late game, he's going to be valuable. Don't be too hung up on only the gold and shiny because you can do all of the dungeons up to the point of easily farming mythic gear with no legendaries. You know, you make a very good point. Very good point. I love that. I love that. And actually, that'll roll into my tip. I, I guess tip number four, I think we're at now, um, is farming your experience raids. A lot of people try to push their legendaries with their one or two legendaries that they may or may not have and they try to push those to the, to the most because you know of course legendaries are going to give you generally better stats overall but in the early game you're not maxing out your legendaries you know you're not having a1s and a2s so you're going to be able to get a a5s a3s or whatnot of these uh you know epic characters a lot faster and which in some cases can make a huge difference. I mean, there's there's many times I use AI over uh, anything crowd control. Uh, you know, same thing with uh, Pyros. Same thing with Hollow. You know, these 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 characters are very easily uh, received from new accounts. A lot of people typically get them fairly early, and they can be used all the way through the late game. I have an actual uh, uh, one one or two videos I think actually specifically using nothing but epics on the farming rates. And just showing as an example of what you can do and what, what can be done. And I, I finished them all high level. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I think um, I think I only use one guy uh, as a, as ultimate and, and still finish it off. Like that's how effective these these uh, these epics can still be in, in, in normal game activities. Yeah, and Mari, one of the free heroes. A lot of times people kind of crap on the free heroes assuming they're not top tier. But Mari is someone you can use at level 40, level 50 early on yes. and take advantage of her crowd control and not even max her out right away. And she's still going to be amazing for your account. Right. Someone like that's really valuable, like using them even at not a max. Uh, like you might be like, oh, I can't get I, I don't want to put them to level 60. Well, you don't need to. She's right. still great without it. Right. Right. You just, uh, slap a bunch of uh, speed gear on her and uh, or, or rage regen and, and just let her ride. And, and she is a great you know, a uh, uh, companion to any team, really, any team out there that you're trying to slow down. Uh, you know, that's the one thing I, I saw about Maul. Maul, for the longest time, I was using him, but I didn't really know how effective he was until I started getting his awakenings where he gets the freeze. Yeah, that really changed the game as far as effectiveness for him because that little bit of freeze is not much. It's not much, but it helps, and it helps so much. It can give you that small little edge over getting to that next level as, you, uh, as you're as you trying to progress through things, right? That kind of leads into my next tip. What is it, tip number five? As you were saying with building heroes and picking like, oh, you just want to assume that your legendaries are going to be your first 60s, but not necessarily. Also, like this game is a team synergy type <clears throat> game. It's not the game where you pick one level 60 to carry your entire account. Right. If you do that and you leave everyone else at level 40, you're going to be hurting. You kind of want to build a little more evenly in this game like, yes, get a bunch of some people to 50, a few people at 40, then get one person to 60. But don't leave everyone super low level and forget about them. Like, try to push them, the rest of the team up to 50, then a couple more 60s, you know? Like, try to build a little bit more balanced than you would of having, expecting one hero to carry your account. Right. You know, in a lot of these games, uh, I think that's what people typically expect was to hyper on one person and that way it can get you all the way up at least to mid game before before you really need the other characters but um, with this like you were saying team synergy is so important I think if you can build probably a good three or four characters that are just synergistic and work together and just really focus on those you could probably get somewhere pretty good as you slowly start to you know like you were talking about summon more characters you know, thicken your roster and really have more tools in the toolbox. But, but yeah, synergistic for the team is, is 
that is that is where the power comes from you know that's that's more than just oh okay i put this character down and oh it's time for his ultimate let's pop the ultimate you know now you're talking about okay timing okay positioning okay when should i put this character down when should i pull this character back and how does it work well with other characters around it like that synergy i think is just so next tier type of a tip i, I think that really is good deal good deal all right that leads into my tip is I'm going to go into artifacts. When it comes into artifacts with these guys, a lot of times everyone wants to get these top red uh, mythic artifacts and think, man, if I don't have these, I'm just not going to be able to perform. It is what it is. Um, or, or they just try to get just a bunch of golds. And, you know, the golds are not bad either. You know, they have their place. But what a lot of people overlook, I think, are these guys. These things right here. These little keen wisdoms. I mean, they're, they're, they're epic. They're purples. You know, everybody usually get a ton of these. They're, they're, they're one of the most probably m most dropped uh, um, artifacts out there. But once you continue to upgrade it over and over and over and over, I mean, look at this. Within one tile, you get a 14% increase. That is insane for an epic. For, you know, originally this piece alone, you would have thought it was garbage. But after you upgrade it with its own piece, because you only need its own piece to upgrade it, which, again, you're going to get a ton of, so it should be fairly easy to upgrade these. And you could be slapping these on, on, on every character you have and get some get some massive, you know, effect going on, right? Yeah, the epics are a lot cheaper to upgrade than the legendary or the mythics. But, of course... I would say Keen Wisdom is probably the only one that you really want to focus on epic-wise. Right, right, The rest right, of them right. don't quite have the value, but it is so cheap to get that to level 25 mm -hmm. compared to just upgrading a couple bits of a Mythic to level 25. There's a couple okay right. legendary ones, too, um, that are pretty solid, but the Mythics are expensive, and I feel like just now I'm really pushing my Mythics to level 25 right. for the first time since playing and when the game came out in July, because they're so hard, like until you really, really are farming the yeah. final stage for tons of mithril, it's hard to level those up. It can and be very difficult. And King Wisdom has actually been, like, that's like the artifact that people were using on Dolores, like, for example, yeah. someone that just needs pure attack. Yeah. Like, and that's going to be an end game strategy, so you won't regret leveling up two or three of those at least. Absolutely. Put them, put them in a bag. You, you're going to love them. You're going to love them. All right, what do you got for me? All right, I think let's go on to, let's go back to the main screen there. Yeah. I want to point out a couple of things with dailies. So mm. just kind of a little reminder of not to skip some of the basic dailies when you are stuck, like Tide. Tide every day early on is going to be very easy. You're going to be mm -hmm. like, when does this get hard? You're going to be like, this is so great. And yeah. always do those three battles. But if you're busy and you don't have time, and you're just like, I don't have time to progress, progress today. I'm just going to close the game. Always click that onslaught button. Always get those extra rewards. Always. Um, it's, it's such a quick, instant thing that even if you don't progress at all that day, and you get stuck, and you can't progress, that's how you get the points to get these talents up. Right. Which actually makes your BP higher. Um... Or the other example would be maybe faction trials. First, you're going to open up basic trial. Then you'll start opening faction trials. Mm -hmm. Even if you're busy that day and you don't have time to progress in the trial after, like, you know, you first start unlocking, just always, always do at least what you're at. Because even if you get the lower level currency, you can assemble them or disassemble them and improve them to the higher rarity so right. you can work on your pantheon. But... But don't neglect the Pantheon. Do that as, like, there's some really key dailies that really help boost your overall account. That you for that only take, like, two seconds or yeah. five minutes at most, you know? Yeah, all that really starts to add up over time. It seems ins insignificant on a day-to-day -day basis, but over time it really starts to add up. I mean, these are just overall account buffs that, that I have. You know what I mean? It's not just one character. It's not for one, one area. It's just account buffs. And it's just that daily activity, doing your daily grind, doing your daily tide, doing your daily, uh, uh, what were they called? Trial, faction trials. And um, yeah, you're, you're going to be able to enhance your overall account. Absolutely. Great tip. I love that one. I love that one, guys. All right. My next tip, which is actually a tip I need to take on myself, is arena. Is stop skipping arena, guys. If you see right here, I've been skipping arena. <laughs> yeah, I've been skipping it, you know. 
but honestly there are a ton of good rewards they have been increasing the rewards for arena every week now and of course you know the higher you get the better the rewards are um, and of course, the beginning game, obviously, you're not going to be up here on the Overlord or Platinum and stuff. But even in the beginning game, let's say you get up to, you know, Bronze 2, Bronze 3. This right here can really start helping you out every week as you start to save your weekend summons, you know. That, 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 that really makes a difference in your account little by little and just stay active on it. Every week, it's almost like free resources. Just by doing a normal piece of the account, you're going to be able to get a ton of free resources. And then on top of that... You'll, you'll learn so much more about the synergies of, of your characters, how to use them, how not to use them. And then on top of that, you know, you're seeing a PVP. You're basically another person uh, uh, w with their own account and you're, you're seeing different play styles and, and different advantages and different advantages that maybe other, other types of teams have. And so you're seeing it right there in front of your face. So I think it's a great place, not only to try new things for your characters, but also to see what other people are doing and how it works and, and things like that to get ideas to use in other parts of the game. And the currency for the shop. The arena shop's actually pretty generous. Yeah. It's a great, yeah. it's probably the best shop there is out of all of them. So you, like actually just doing some battles and getting some currency. You but can play not. very minimally and not do all of your arena battles mm -hmm. every day, mm -hmm. honestly, and still max out this shop and get everything yes. you need. Absolutely. If you, it's actually pretty easy to get everything you need every week, which for me, I always get the bottom row. It's once you, If you are just a little bit active, getting that overlord even, mm -hmm. it's not that hard once you get even... Like, especially your account, you should be an overlord. I know, uh, I need very to. Very easily. I need to. <laughs> it, it's funny, actually. I just, yesterday, this is this is funny. If you look at my, look at my overall BP, it's pretty garbage right now. But it, the reason for that is because I actually came over here to all my characters. And I uh, went through and removed all of their gear. All of their gear for all my characters were removed. Right. So... And what I just did yesterday is when I come over here for the gear raid, was it gear raid uh, three? And I was shooting for 19, just the characters that I used in here, I went back and re-geared specifically for this run. And then outside of that, I don't have anything uh, geared right now. So I tried to do guild boss earlier and it, I just got demolished. And I'm like, oh yeah, no gear. That's right. I need to redo that. So, uh, but yeah, no, that's, that, it's, it's very, very important either way. Yes. So number nine guilds uh the guild section there's a lot to do in the guilds so obviously don't skip your guild boss every day even if you're only doing a low level do something because the rewards from the chests are good and it's so quick to progress in guild boss you can even cheat early mm -hmm. on use a cuker a cutter for some poison damage and use one key on the different chests don't try to four key for the top chests or whatever like don't waste your keys just to try to get the top chest until you get very late game mm -hmm. then that's a different discussion to debate about using two keys for the top but that's way later right early on you want to like put one key on hard one key on nightmare one and try to get the best chest you can and get double the rewards right. and then there's also one little thing here with guild boss the donation button we don't have a dang red dot on the donation how many people have forgotten to do their donations every day. Yeah, I don't know what donations you're talking about, actually. Where's that at? Go back. Oh. There's a donation button down there. Oh, next wow. to management. Next one. What one? Let's see. There we go. Donation. Right next to it. Yeah. Wow. See, I, you even forgot. Yep. I had no clue this was here. This is free currency for your <laughs> guild shop, which is pretty valuable. Getting rid of crap that you don't need. And early on... You're going to immediately realize that the rare dust, the rare skill crystals, you're barely going to use that because you're mm -hmm. going to level like five rares on your entire account at the most. Yeah, really. Your epic skill dust, you're going to start overflowing in. Um, there's going to be a lot of things um, in this that they're actually allowing us to kind of get rid of that you realize you have an excess of. I wouldn't sacrifice the important stuff like today I had diamonds. Like, oh, no, yeah. you're not getting my diamonds. <laughs> or, like, even epic skill crystals, I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to keep those in case I level up a bunch of epics that I'm not using. But most of the time, it's all stuff that you don't need because this is their way of, like, deal giving people rewards for that excess stuff that you just have yeah, sitting nice. around. Definitely a great tip. Yeah, That's a great see, tip for me. I didn't even know about it. Everyone forgets about it. Yeah. <laughs> 
I, I remember I swear hearing it came the, out and then everybody forgot about it. I remember hearing about it on the uh, the new release about guild donations and stuff, and it's going to help with currency. I'm like, yeah, it'll be great. Whenever it comes, <laughs> I didn't know it was already here. All right, well that's good to know. Hey, uh, tips are already working. Look at that. <laughs> All right. All right, then uh, number 10, tip number 10. And I think this is also very important, um, but this is also something that, in my opinion, has only become recently important. I think in the beginning, uh, nobody really cared because the rewards were kind of garbage. But I'm looking at Guild War now. When it comes to Guild War, you need to pay attention to this little icon here. I mean, you can also go into Guild War and see it here, uh, but you can also jump on it from here. These are your demon soldiers. And right off the bat, your demon soldiers are not the best. You're going to have to put some work in and farm on them. And for the longest time, I could not figure out where in the heck am I supposed to be getting these demon soldiers from. You know, it's not apparently obvious where you need to go. But once you click on here, and then you click on, uh, what was it? Is, it? is it? Grading? If you try to upgrade, upgrade. them. Upgrade. There we go. Here we go. And then, yeah. And then this guy, once you click on him here, he will tell you exactly gear raid three guild boss void rift and then uh, you know by random the guild shop but these are the areas you need to be hitting and farming if you want to get more drops on this this demon soldier and it can really help you out when it comes to you know guild boss i mean not guild boss uh, uh guild versus guild and then as far as the characters you don't have all you got to do is click this little plus here and it pulls up the same thing okay i need to go farm this area here to get this character so i can really start you know, getting some effectiveness on, on some guild versus guild really helped my team out a little bit. And I think if people just do that, I mean, once you start playing, you can do the automatic affiliation. So that can really help. Uh, and another little mindful tip within a tip is that um, all lords actually give a bit more uh, a BP bonus than someone else of the exact same BP or exact same power, I, I guess you say. But so you get that little little bump from the uh, the Lord as well, but uh, it's just farming them. You've got to got to got to farm these guys because if not, you're going to be ineffective on, on Guild War. And it sucks because you're going to sit there and be like, oh, I hate this. This is terrible. And you think that because you're not very good at it and you're not very good at it because you're not farming for it for pieces. Right. You have to actively try to make your characters better. Otherwise, you're just not going to get better at it. And don't forget to le hit level them up before you start your guild war. Yes. Like, I always forget to go to my demon soldier page and check to see. They'll see, like, a little green mm -hmm. triangle pointing upward Usually it'll on be your like demon right soldier here. page. If some, yeah. yep. Don't forget to upgrade them, too, because, like, it might not... They don't make it obvious that you have upgrades. Right. It's, again, another place where, like, the red dots, I think, are shown on the ones, like, that you could... No, they're just ones you could affiliate, yeah. not even upgrade. Yeah, just so affiliates, yeah. It's not always obvious when you need to actually do that but. it isn't it's one of those things that you just have to be mentally aware of and then kind of just remind yourself oh let me go check on my my demon soldiers where am i at you know have, have i been farming them have i not you know obviously it's not something i think you need to prioritize over something like your gear raids but it is something that you do need to actively be mindful of and say you know hey there are these three or four demon soldiers that i've been really looking to you know enhance let me spend a little bit of time every week running those, farming that level, trying to to get some of those drops. Uh, because just because you hit the level doesn't mean that you're going to get the Demon Soldier, right? It's one of those randomized drops. That's uh, so, random. Yeah, so you just don't and have to like, put the work that in. That could be the reason you farm. You, that might be the reason you farm extra. Right. You know, like, right. So you're like, okay, it's a Gear Raid 3 event, plus I want these two Demon Soldiers that drop from Gear Raid 3. I'm going to go hand this week. Like, yeah. That could be... An extra reason to have more value at overly farming a certain dungeon. Absolutely. It gives you more reason to farm other parts of the the game other than just your, your typical, you know, gear raid or resource raids, right? So I think that really, really makes it exciting. It adds, adds some more excitement to the game, perhaps. All right. That's awesome, guys. So those were the top 10 beginner tips that I think that we're going to have that's really going to help you guys out. They can help you synergize your team, build your account, prepare your resources for events, and at the same time, build that, that, that super thick roster that, you know, everybody wants. But you've got to start early, you got to play often, and you've got to be diligent with making sure you're farming the right things for the right reasons, right? Stay on one goal at a time and try to stay with that goal. You know, if your goal is to uh, get a good synergistic team going and you want to max out that team, then you may want to really focus on your experience that way or, or your um, 
your promotion rates so that you can get them fully maxed out characters first, right? Or, or whatever the case may be, whatever your goal is, stay focused on that goal before you start trying to do a little bit of everything. Uh, otherwise, your account's not, not going to be quite where, you're, where you need it to be. I agree. Yeah, it's, there's a lot when it comes to these games that people like to say, oh, it's all about money. It's all about pay to win. But it's not. It's, it's time really not. and time equals money. Yes. And the same person that puts in a ton of time is going to perform way better and progress smarter as well than right. the person that just spends a bunch of money to get legendary heroes and doesn't know how to use them. So at right. the end of the day, this game is extremely free to play friendly or low spend friendly. And I think that's part of why people like it so much. Of course, it's a gotcha. We have the RNG. Yeah, At the yeah, end of the day, you yeah. might get lucky. You might not get lucky. But it's definitely um, very friendly to all levels of spenders. So I think that's what I love about it the most is that it is a gotcha. You know, I feel like that if it was extremely straightforward it, it wouldn't be as fun you know it's almost like the the lottery factor you know you you want to kind of get that little bit of a gamble in there because you want to say am i going to get it this time like i get my, my heart rate starts beating uh, beating and everything when it comes to like these these big summons that i'm waiting on like am i going to get it am i going to get it or not you know <laughs> and i get so excited so i love that factor but at the same time you know it's not so much that it's impossible to get characters you know i'm very much free to play or quote unquote you know low spin sort of speak i think i've spent 30 bucks on this this account the entire time i've had it and um i've i feel like i've got a pretty decent account going i feel like i can do i feel like i could actually push further than what i'm at now I'm, and then that was the whole reason i'm redoing my gear is just trying to consolidate and, and and push a little bit more in certain areas but um but yeah definitely free to play definitely a ton of tips and if you can just put the time in, you can be a well. You can be a well with time, time alone, you know. So I, I figure that would help out. Anyway, guys, these are the big tips you got. Any questions, concerns, make sure and put down in the comments. Make sure and check out Ivy League Gaming. If you haven't already, outstanding channel. A ton of good information she puts out every week to let you guys know what's coming out, what's going on, changes, updates, new guys. We actually just did a new video over there. Make sure and check it out soon. It's a new character coming out. It's awesome. It looks insane, and you guys are going to really love that. So make sure and give that a check. Give out her, uh, uh, give her channel a check, and then uh, we'll go from there. If you enjoyed that video, guys, check out my channel here or my latest video here. Till next time, APOC out.